Hello, my name is Keith O'Darrick, and welcome to this segment of Upfront. On this particular segment of Upfront, we're doing a live on location interview with George Duke. And George, thank you for giving us this opportunity to do this interview. My pleasure. Uh, I understand right now uh, you're currently involved in the Soul Train Awards, and we're doing a little bit of um, shooting around your house, and you're going to be doing a little plan for us, right. uh, giving us an idea of what the Soul Train theme is all about. And also, I wanted to find out, how did Don Cornelius go about choosing you as being a musical director for the Soul Train Awards? Well, you know, it's, uh, I really don't know. You know, <laughs> he sort of just called me out of the blue and told me basically what was happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, asked me if I was interested, and I said, uh, sure, it's something I'd like to do. I don't do a lot of it. Okay. Um, so, uh, basically, I'm a record producer, but he called me to do it. And I've been on the show before okay. as an artist. Okay. So, I guess he thought I could do it. I do enough records. And you have a, a list on your bio that was be like a who's who <laughs> in the music industry of some of the people that you work with. You work yeah. with uh, Michael Jackson on the Off the Wall album. Yeah. And also you did something with Frank Zappa. Oh, yeah. Irene Cara. Mm -hmm. uh, Stanley Clark. That's right. And you're... And Denise Williams. And Denise Williams. And, and the list goes on, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any particular um, project that you're working on right now with someone in the studio? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, right now, as we speak, while this is filming, we're setting up a mix for a group Hiroshima, mm -hmm. which is uh, one of my favorite groups. The, the band is great, and the people are really great to work for. It's going to be a big record. Any particular favorite artist that you enjoy working with? Well, you know, I actually like working with Howard. That's hard. That's, you know, I mean, I'm going to slight somebody, see. I actually like working with Howard Hewitt a lot mm -hmm. because he's crazy. And he's just, you know, he's a great musician, and we work well together because he's, he's a great singer, and I'm a pretty good piano player, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, we get together, and we write songs, and, and uh, we're working on some stuff for his new record, okay. the one that will come out, you know, imminently. Okay, any particular part of the day that you really enjoy writing most of your musical material? Um, because I know certain artists, you know, or certain people that are really into writing, you know, the wee hours of the night seem to be the best part of the day to, to really concentrate on your material. Yeah, well, you know what it is. And whether it's like working for the award show or doing the artists I produce, the nighttime is really the best time for that only because the phones don't ring. You know, and sometimes I'm working during the day after and struck my secretary. Just, I don't want to take any calls unless it's from my wife or my manager. I just don't want to hear it. But normally, uh, working at night by myself, after 10 o'clock or something, I'd close the door and just go. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's really great because it's quiet and there's nobody dropping by and the phones aren't ringing. That's really the bottom line. Hmm. Do you enjoy really working in a studio or being on the road as a, music, a musician, as an artist? Total artist, complete artist. <laughs> You're talking about separating the men from the boys, mm -hmm. being on the road, performing live. That's right. That's, Can you tell us about that? Well, see, I, th I really believe that that's the final test. You know, when you're uh, working in the studio, that's all fine and good, and you've got mm -hmm. sequencers and stuff that can do a lot of your work for you. But when you're out on the road, the people out there sitting there, they don't really want to hear a drum machine, or they don't want to see somebody uh, turn up, push a button, and then the music magically happens. They want to see an artist do his craft. They mm -hmm. want to see a singer sing. They want to see an artist getting down. I'm getting mm -hmm. serious. And I think... I think a little bit of that is missing nowadays. You know, the real cats that come out there and play. I'm, I'm determined to bring that back. Okay. Would you mind giving us a little demonstration right now? Let's go. Okay, let's do it. George Duke giving us a small demonstration on what he calls the Soul Train theme.
What a wonderful demonstration, George. You're welcome. All right. I must say thank you for that. And before we go, I'd like to ask George Duke to give his personal advice about getting involved in the music industry. George, can you give any advice to any individual that's personal that they can really use and better themselves in their career and getting involved in the music industry? Sure. Don't do it. No, no, no <laughs> just, just kidding. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's a wonderful career mm -hmm. uh, to be involved in, but the main thing, I think, is to be... Um, it's, it's so hard to come up with these little things to say. Right. I, I would think the main thing is that you've got to be persistent and you've got to know what you're doing once you get there. When you get your shot, you've got to do it better than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And uh, let them know that you're there. You know, I don't think you can be necessarily timid about, uh, about yourself in mm -hmm. a certain respect. You know, there's a certain amount of strength that comes with humility as well. Mm -hmm. It's a sort of combination of the two, but the main thing is hang in there because mm -hmm. you're going to get a lot of knocks, okay. but at the same time, if you know you've got something to offer, go for it. Okay. Thank you for your wonderful advice. All right. And much continued success, okay? All right. And I want to thank you for tuning in to this segment of Upfront. And if you'd like to write to us, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Keith O'Darek saying so long. <laughs>